волонтерство – це невід'ємний торговказ моєго життя. Насіння волонтерства засіяні були з малку. Приїхавши до Канади після Другої світової війни, мої батьки включилися в громадську працю. Їхня місія – було розбудувати українське життя в новій країні і вщепити в нас українські традиції – мову, душу та любов до України. Організували, планували, зустрічалися, добивалися та прочували з усмішкою і посвяченням. Це надзвичайний приклад, як успішно виконувати громадську працю і досягти мети. Післяли нас до української школи і до посту. Пості я мала нагоду працювати як пиховниця в новацтві та в юнацтві. Приїхавши до Бейкрубелю, вчити в українській домовній програмі, я, звичайно, включилася у громадське життя у ролі волонтера. Я почала вчити суботами на курсах українознавства в Едмонтоні. В другому році перебрала директорство, задовольняюча праця, якою я займалася 14 років. Записалася до Bakerville Cultural Association, which organizes the renowned Bakerville Pisanka Festival, chairing the youth talent competitions in singing, recitation, instrumental, and the Ukrainian dance competitions at the festival has been a fulfilling project. It gives me great pleasure to work with fellow committee members, instructors, adjudicators, parents and participants. Volunteerstvo vichuvaiche meni spontanim. It feels natural. De je meni mozhlevisht nadilitisha moim ukrainstvom. Peredate moyu lyubov batkivshchene, ku batke meni peredale. Through my volunteer work, I have been blessed with the opportunity to encourage and inspire the younger generation to participate expand their horizons, increase their awareness of Ukrainian language, culture, traditions. Volunteering is a form of mentoring. That is the teacher in me. When Russia invaded Ukraine again in 2022, a group of volunteers in Vagerville formed a committee. Vagerville and area stands with Ukraine. Our purpose was to help Ukrainian families that may come to our town. I signed up as chair of support, helping with government forms and documents, school registrations, health care, community groups, and general information. Pracujuće iz pereselencemi, ja pohlebila i zbiljšila moje znanja ukrajinskoj move. I rimno časno naši pereselenci zapisnali našu ukrajinsku mobu v Kanadi. Я відчуваю і вірю, що дружба і співпраця розвиваються у волонтерстві. Volunteering with various organizations has enriched my life. Волонтерство – це допомога іншим, а ми всі потребуємо чиюсь допомогу. I volunteer because I want to contribute to worthy causes and to continue the legacy and values instilled by my parents, extended family, and community. This Hetman Volunteer Award is a true honor. Дякую моєму чоловікові дітям, друзям і комітетам за підтримку. Щиро дякую за велику честь. Слава Україні, героям слава. Uh, I like people and uh, I like working with people. Uh, I certainly enjoy helping out where I see that there's a need and if somebody needs a hand with something, uh, I like to just get involved and just do it. Well, I guess there's twofold. One is a great deal of satisfaction. Uh, the other impact is that a lot of my own stuff I never get done, uh, home projects, but I just enjoy uh, working with people, I love people, and just uh, see that it needs to be done and just go ahead and do it. It feels a good feeling doing that. Uh, most of my uh, volunteering was with the Ukrainian community. Uh, I got involved with it uh, quite heavily in uh, 
1968 when I went and met my wife Marian and she was involved with the Ukrainian dance and with Chumka and teaching and I sort of came along and helping out with that and that moved on to volunteering for the Folk Arts Council which uh, Shumka was a member of uh, and uh, Alberta Folk Arts besides the Edmonton Folk Arts uh, and I got involved with the church and uh, um, uh, had Palomar at, at, the, uh, at the church at St. Andrews and um, they went on to volunteering with outside of Ukrainian community volunteering with Northlands and just a lot of work always to be done just enjoyed doing it. Uh, my wife Marion got the Hetman Award for Culture in uh, 2005 and I've been pretty much following along to what she is doing. We, we end up working together all the time and now it's an honor to receive the Hetman Award as well. Można вивчити волонтерство, можна вивчити всілякі програми, а, знаєте, можна стати професійним волонтером, але а, це мусить бути в душі, це мусить бути любов до, а, до чого, що ми віддаємо для других. Це не мусить бути українська громада, це можуть бути і англійські, і всі інші, але треба любити людей, треба їх шанувати, і чого навчила мене а моя покійна мама, мій батько, від маленьких років вона вчила мені любові до пісні. А батько повторяв: "Пам'ятайте, все є українська дівчина". <сум> Бо ми жили у Польщі, ми були переселенці акції Вісла, так що батьки зберігали все, що могли, щоб надати нам це любов до, до України, які мені насправді ніколи не бачили, вже у старших роках мали нагоду поїхати на Україну і відвідати. А коли приїхала до Канади, очевидно, кожна родина шукає а, товаришів, шукає, знаєте, людей, які включитися до української громади. А, моя товаришка, яка тепер переїхала до Торонто, а, попросила мене, щоб я прийшла до Українського національного об'єднання, пан Йопик. Приїхав, взяв нас на, на зустріч, це були загальні збори. Коли я подивилася у цей час, а, волонтерство в УНО було дуже маленьке. Там було пару старших жінок. А, коли приїхала еміграція з Польщі, ми почали її розвивати. Ну, очевидно, зразу попросили мене включити себе в ряди організації Україно-Канади Ольги Басара. І це воно так сталося. І незабаром 89-92 рік я вже стала її головою. Праця в українській громаді – це, це любов до других, так як я сказала, і, і воно дає велику наснагу, знаєте, задоволення. Я була членом хору Дніпро 15 років. Ми мали великі концерти, їхали по всій Канаді, від Калгари до Соскачевану, до Монтреалу, Отави. Але Велике задоволення давало мені, коли ми ходили відвідувати старших людей, і як вони раділи, знаєте, це, це, це любов передана для них. А, пісні, яку я, я, я все любила, це дуже задоволення. А крім цього, знаєте, коли ви допомагаєте, коли люди радіють, а, що прийшли молоді люди, яких я тепер бачу, які приїхали, ми, і ми все їх заохочуємо і допомагають. Це, це на, найкраща а, наснага, яка може бути для, для людини і для всіх інших. Well, basically, my wife was involved with the Ladies League at St. Joseph's uh, Church, and uh, they were collecting clothes and we volunteered, I guess that's, that was the proper word, we, we volunteered to drive the clothes to uh, one day to the orphanage. And I think just seeing these little kids and how they reacted to the clothes, that sort of, I guess that's 
that's what did it. Because from then on, I, thi I think for the next three to four years, we were involved in collecting clothes. And, and of course, Anne and I drove, drove out to Mundare to make the delivery. And then, of course, we started bringing out watermelon and things like that. And it ended up to be almost a, an occasion. But that's how, I guess, basically, we got involved, and I got involved in volunteerism, and then, of course, through the community, the, the community needed help, so you get involved with the community, and it just keeps going and going. And almost 60 years goes by, so maybe 70 years, I don't know, time goes by so quickly. But that's, and then, of course, I got into the service clubs, uh, the, uh, the JCs, originally and then of course the Chamber of Commerce, the Chamber of Mines in the city and and then uh, the Lions Club and then the Rotary Club which I was in for 35 years and life went by extremely quickly but uh, when, when I look back I find that uh, uh, it's quite incredible the things that you were involved with and it just every once in a while you you get into a conversation and then you thought, oh gee whiz, I was involved with that. And uh, one thing that, uh, that was uh, almost, I guess it was the late 50s, was uh, we were, our Lions Club was involved with Winifred Stewart. And we were the ones that got her going uh, on a voluntary basis to, uh, to get the school going. And that was, that was very rewarding to to, and I think that was I, I think that was my first big sort of big project that we were involved with type of thing. And then, and then uh, that became history. It became an institution which still exists, to my knowledge. It was to me. It was normal. I mean, I know a lot of my neighbors <laughs> thought I was nuts, but uh, anyway, as I say, it it became. Uh, part of your life and you never I never thought of it as you know as something special I just when you when you're involved in in an organization everybody is about the same speed you just you just do it you don't give it a second thought you just go ahead and do it I got involved in volunteering because my parents were role models they were in a rural community and uh, both were highly active in the community and church. And so I guess they planted the seeds. The amazing thing is all the wonderful people I've met and worked with and con and the surprising part is that we continue to work together in, on many projects. And uh, it's what I've learned and what, what sharing of ideas can create. And quite often the idea that you start with and what it finally you evolves into is so much better than the original idea and so I'm so grateful for all the people I've worked with and uh, they've been just awesome. I guess it's the restoration of St. Petascavia Church. It's a rural church and um, I think it's one that no one ever thought would come to completion and uh, it was challenging um, when I had become president there. There was no, almost no funds available, and uh, we, uh, it took a lot of talking, and then a big storm hit the church, and so we got the roof and the siding redone. However, our basement was crumbling, and uh, that was gonna be very expensive. However, talking with people, and, and they jumped on board, and we did a big fundraiser, and asked for a lot of donations and people were so willing and we're so grateful. And within uh, probably two years after the fundraiser, we were able to raise the church, install the basement, and it looks wonderful. It's complete, it's done, the project is finished. However, it just led to another project. Now we're working on the hall, so church hall, so all's good. Well, I'm very humbled and, well, proud and, uh, however, I think it's more for my parents and everyone I've worked with because they were so fundamental in, in everything, all the projects getting done and all, their ideas and 
instilling the desire to do this and working together with people has made it, yeah, it, it's, it's for them, I think, more than me.